Hey y'all, so I'm going to start a series to where I go over some aquarium products that I would recommend for top quality aquarium husbandry. Now these are going to be some aquarium products that I've been using for a long time, as well as some new products that are on the market that I have tested and recommend. Right off the bat, I want to go over these Hannah checkers. I'm sure you guys have been seeing these on the market a lot, you've been seeing these floating around on the internet, and that's for a reason. That's because this takes away any human error to when it comes to testing aquarium parameters. Uh, this is a way for you to digitally see what each measurement is, and a couple that I would recommend that you more than likely want very precise measurements for is alkalinity and phosphates, along with copper if you are using that for any type of treatment. Those are three that you want to be very precise with. Now the Salford test kits and other top quality test kits on the market can do a great job at measuring these as well, but I for one know that I like to make sure my alkalinity is accurate and my phosphate. And that's because these parameters move very swiftly in the aquarium. A little bit of underfeeding, a little bit of overdosing, and you're going to see these numbers go up and down. Alright, so here's the alkalinity HANA checker. Comes in a nice little plastic box. It's always nice. Alright, pretty simple. We have one piece of paper for instructions. We have our checker right here. Here is some of our reagent, test vial. A battery, look at that. I want to get some aquarium water and fill it up to here. I'll be right back. Alright, so unreactive water. I want to make sure this is nice and clean so we don't get a false sample. Press the on off button. So after pressing the on off button, we displayed add C2 with press blinking. So that's what's going on here. That means we're zeroed out. Then we can remove the cavette. Carefully add one milliliter of the H1 772S. So that's this right here. Just by taking that out, the one milliliter is in there. So we're going to put that right in here. Alright, that went right in there. Whew, scary stuff. Screw this back in there. Okay, and then invert it five times. Two, three, four, five. So, paying attention, nothing spilled. Otherwise, we're good. We put it back in there. Shut it. We're going to set it straight. I'm going to press the button. Nine point three. Looks like a very accurate alkalinity reading. That's actually what I've been getting with my salad for test kit. Right about that. But it's hard sometimes trying to read those colors. So it's very nice to have a machine do it for you. All right. So there we have it. Our alkalinity Hanna checker. Just a reminder, you guys can purchase this with the link description down below from Bulk Reef Supply with free shipping. They are the best aquarium supplier as far as I'm concerned when it comes down to a lot of these aquarium products. So try it out. You guys won't be disappointed. Here is our HANA handheld calorimeter for phosphates. 
Again, phosphate is one of those readings that you want to be very accurate with. So this is a useful test kit to have for that. It eliminates all human error. So, this is similar instructions as all the other HANA checkers. So first things first, here is our actual checker. Let's change that battery in just a second. Okay, this one's different. It has powder test kits. Test tubes. And here's your battery. So I'm going to change this one. So you press the on off. Then you get C1 with press blinking. Then we add 10 milliliters of unreacted water. Alrighty, there it is. I'm gonna put that in here. And we're gonna press it again. until we get add C2 with press blinking. I'm gonna do this. So there we are, now it's add C2 with press blinking. All right, now I wanna be very careful here to get it all in there. And it says shake for two minutes. One. And when we put this in there, we're supposed to press and hold. So it counts on three minutes. Awesome, there it goes. Alternatively, you just wait three minutes yourself, and then when you press it, it performs the next part of the test. So now we're gonna have our answer in about three minutes. It's pretty cool. I think it's gonna be 0 0.80, if I have a guess. Oh, did you believe that? Look at that. Oops, baby. That's not too bad. It's, you know, I'm, I'm ready for a water change for sure. But it's not like everything's gonna start dying. So there you have it. 